Hello, everybody. It's a brand new session, and we're full of Indeed. vim and vigor. Uh, what kind of... Got a if... bonus chicken wings. Yeah, okay. I think I was doing, like, a valley girl kind of voice for her, I think. I think so? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. I honestly expected you to leave or inform somebody by now, but you haven't, have you? Mm -hmm. Try to focus on the chat. A familiar nickname is displayed on the screen. What the fuck? Well, Alright, ban him. We kicked him once, and he's still doing this, so yeah, ban him. Good job handling that guy. Great. If nothing else works out, it seems like you fit this job at the very least. In any case, the last goal has just been funded. It's time for the great finale. This is what you've all been waiting for, right? Thirst victim, yes, Queen Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> What's with me? <laughs> Yes, Queen. Hearts filthy lesson. Yes, Queen. Her voice has changed. She gets closer to the camera, letting her face fill the frame of the live feed. Her mesmerizing eyes are focused purely on the viewers. You wanted blood. Come out into the streets. Claw out your neighbors' throats. Slash their veins and drink up. Okay, what, a, what the fuck? Yes, Queen. Oh, he died. Jesse Hooker. What the fuck? Hope's present comes absolutely horrifying. And it's influence in the chat is some incomprehensible, bleh, incomprehensible way. Everyone starts typing like they are possessed. <sighs> Liberate- Ah, oh, fuck me. Liberate yourselves from the shackles of ordinary morality! <clears throat> Make them scream! Feel the warmth of their entrails! What the fuck? What the hell is she doing? Transcend your bodies! Release the message of hope into the world! She jerks violently for a second and then falls down on the bed like a marionette that just had its strings severed. She exhales loudly a few times and laughs. When she does, the room goes dark again. Well, I'm creeped out. <sighs> Alright, that's enough. Instead of continuing, she does something with her phone. The stream ends and the chat instantly becomes dead quiet. Let me take over. The atmosphere in the room is completely changed. She's already put herself together and stood up. Now she's walking towards you. At Vogar, what the fuck just happened? At Jerry2010, guess the show's over. Everyone relax and go home. Ha, aw, and I was almost... <laughs> well then. <laughs> Hostage, I swear my father's grave. One day I'll find you and kick the ever-living shit out of you. After every line she delivers, she changes her voice, the way she puts her lips together, and even the way she moves. What? You've caught a glimpse of her acting this way, but only now have you started to figure it out. Wait a minute, does it mean... I'm immortal, I'm bored, I'm separated... I'm separated from most vampires in the city by a generational chasm, and I'm so goddamn lonely. Wait, so it was all her. So they were all her? So she's been fucking with us with this whole chat moderation thing. So this was a setup from beginning to end. There was no... She's not exposing herself to anybody. It's a cam That's show for she's... herself. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. She didn't like she's ago, safe. Years ago, I... Ugh, fuck me. I started researching tolpas. Collective unconsciousness, all the mumbo jumbo at the intersection of psychology and spirituality, and I decided to experiment. The show was fake. <laughs> a few years later, I was an Instagram fashionista, successful erotic model, a vital part of pop culture commemorate. Oh, fuck me. Commentariat, a viral shit poster, a cryptocurrency expert. Gross. Mm. All of my internet slaves started signal boosting each other, paving the way for new ones. I became a one-woman empire surrounded by a legions of psycho fans. The chat was fake. At me. Some may think of it as disassociative identity disorder, but that's bullshit. Everyone has online alter egos they buried. I just resurrected them, gave birth to new ones, and let them crossbreed. Her constant tapping in the phone, even during the show, somehow... She's capable of impersonating an entire chat room. Holy shit. Literally perfect danger. I don't have a self that could disassociate or be mentally ill. I'm a host. A living database. 
I live because I find it fun to be an information conduit, to process trends and support the ones I deem worthy. There was no masquerade violation. She was showing off her skills all along. She put you into a world of pure fiction, the same way she was testing you when she attacked you from the back. Damn, she's good at this. Yeah. Of course, you can just ignore what I'm saying and decide I'm just another deranged Malkavian, but hey, annihilation of the self is the only way to survive in the 21st century. I, I don't, oh man, this is a bit much this for me. wild. Android of Notre Dame. <laughs> if there was ever an era that demanded images of beautiful people transcending beyond humanity and inspiring others to do the same, uh, this is the one. I, I can't do like a thousand different fucking voices. That's fine, man. Although for now, because of Masquerade, my audience is quite limited. Speaking of, you want to be the star of my next movie? Uh, sure. We're trying to make friends here, right? Yeah. Sure. sure. Why not? <laughs> Wonderful. I have a hunch you're just saying that. Still, hey, <clears throat> in a way, this too is transcending beyond self. That is the question. But yeah, your test is over. Now the question is, do I want to work with you? She puts away her phone for the first time since you met her and gives you a good hard look. <laughs> Vibe check, people. Guess I can give it a shot. Yeah, you're not that dumb. You're not that boring. And you're kind of cute. Air doll. What the fuck? Don't worry, no more modding jobs. Mods get attached, and that's always bad news. She grabs your arm and starts leading you out of the room. G, G P S. What? What the fuck? I put you through enough shit. Next, I put you through enough shit. Next time, I'll let you in on a little job I'm doing. We'll hit the streets, and you'll see why Sophie told you to contact me. She leads you through a labyrinth of gray corridors. It's a different route than the one you made your way through in. Unconscious diagram of psychic events. Jesus Christ. This city is so much more than what its elites consider real. Stick with me, and I'll guide you to places Camarilla elders couldn't reach in a hundred years. Well, like Facebook? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they haven't uncovered the secrets of Facebook yet, Jay. Oh my god, Mark Zuckerberg, he's a vampire! It all makes sense! No, I doubt it. No, that, that would be... No, Mark is not. He's a fucking alien, is what he is. She leads you out of the building, into the back alleys. <laughs> Even if Should someone else voice? rules the streets, we will rule the information highways. This is the power of hope. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> she lets out a theatrical laugh. Oh, I got a trophy. Good job, mods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and disappears. You don't even notice when she leaves you alone. But you assume everything went as well as it could. A new ally. The power of hope. As you walk off into the night, everything around you feels a little less tangible than it did a few hours ago. Yeah, no shit, she faked us out with an entire fucking mental mindfuck. Yeah. You're walking we're, down the streets towards Were we even moderating a chat or was that just all in like an illusion? I'm pretty sure it was all an illusion. In some other town, the sidewalks would be deserted this time of night. In NYC, there are plenty of passerbys going about their business. The city that never sleeps, baby! It seems to be paranoid when you're a vampire surrounded by a crowd of humans. The kindred have many enemies, and all those enemies have one trait in common. They are invisible, indistinguishable from normal humanity. Others, vampires, hunters, all look like people. Is that old man just a tired restaurant worker, or a kindred thrall tailing your movements? Are they officers idly waiting in a patrol car, ordinary cops, or second inquisition specialists looking to end undead threats? This kind of thinking leads to madness, but you can't shake the feeling that someone is watching you. Not the first time you felt like this. Whatever it is, it's probably something you have to take care of. Best case, someone's tailing you. Worst case, you'll be attacked and killed. Unfortunately, being undead has its limitations. The sun is coming up soon, and you'll burn to a crisp if you stay out in the streets. You reach your haven and settle in for the day, disconcerted by the idea that someone might know where you sleep. That's why you don't lead them there, you dumbass! <sighs> As you wake from your slumber and emerge from your haven for the night, you notice a familiar face on the other side of the street, standing in the corner, looking straight at you. It's Kaiser's Lackey, whom you met recently. Jackie! <laughs> Jackie, Kaiser's Lackey. Nice. Mm -hmm. He nods to you, encouraging you to approach. 
He still looks kind of rough after your last brawl, but the damage to his face is clearly mended. His hands are in his pockets, though. A sign of goodwill? I think you were Jackie, weren't you? What? No, it I wasn't was, me. I think it was you. Yeah. And that's close enough. Let me guess. Kaiser sent you? Oh. Let me guess. This is not a social visit. Kaiser sent you? Don't say his name out loud, idiot. Takes a look around just to make sure nobody's listening to any conversation. <laughs> like he just, I feel like he just said that. <laughs> yeah, he sent me. I'm supposed to give you this. He produces a crumpled piece of paper from his jacket pocket and hands it to you. Read it. Memorize it, then give it back here. It's a letter. The paper might be just a page ripped out of a spiral notebook, but the writing on it is exquisitely detailed and deliberate. It reads, Time to square your debt with me. Go to the wine shop at 232 Mulberry Street. Ask for the 1821 Special Reserve Donat... Motherfucker. Negro Amaro. Special Reserve Donatello Negro Amaro? Negro Amaro. Black Love? No, that can't be right. No. I don't... Ah, if whatever. it was Amor, that would be a love, but uh, Amaro, that's... I don't know. Um, is that is that Spanish or Italian, then? Italian. When they tell you they don't have it, say you are a fidel servitor de la familia, G. Fuck me. Those exact fucking words. Make sure you get the G right. M familia. Please tell me. You... Can you take a picture fidel of this? Fidel servitor. Or... It's can... fine. T please take a picture, because I'm going to forget. Fine. So... Thank you, Fidele Savatois de la Familia G. Familia. Familia. La Miglia. Familia. Alright, you got the picture? Yeah. Okay, cool. You'll get a bottle. Just take it and leave it by saying grazie. grazie. Oh, take it and leave by saying grazie. Don't ask how much it is or anything else, just walk out. When you have it, come back to Jackie Boy here and let him know. You done? Memorize that shit and hand it over. Didn't think your boss was a letter guy. Ugh, fuck. Didn't pick your boss for a letter kind of guy. Isn't electronic communication his whole shtick? Yeah, well, some things are better done the old-fashioned way. But done with that letter. You note the phrases and address mentioned in the letter, and then hand it back to Jackie. He immediately reaches for a letter and burns the letter, putting out the ashes with his boot. So yeah, when you do the what the boss asks, come back here so I can tell you what, where to go next. I'll be in the alley over there, so find me when you have the item. Whatever it is, I don't know. And the boss made it extra clear I shouldn't care, so I don't. See ya. So I could literally just bring you fucking anything and you go, okay. Yeah. He shuffles away and leaves you to pursue the lead. Eh, leaves you to pursue the, the eh, leaves you to <laughs> pursue the lead from the letter. Time to pay a visit to Nolita. <sighs> You arrive at the address mentioned in the note. Not counting local restaurant patrons, the street is mostly empty at this time of night. But curiously, the wine shop is still open. Inside, a small middle-aged woman with curly hair stands behind the counter in front of a wall filled with wine bottles. There's a door at the back of the room with a small table and chair, occupied by a man in a black full leather jacket with slick, comb back hair. Oh, that actually scared me. Okay. <laughs> I thought someone was ringing my bell for a second. He's reading a newspaper, but pauses a little. Pauses as a little bell rings when you open the door. He takes a sip from a small steaming cup, then gets back to his broadsheet. Do you want to be her? Uh, sure. Good evening. How can I help you? Be this. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't even need to take the fucking photo because right yeah, here. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Go there, uh, oh, ask, ask for the reserve when they tell you they don't have it, say you're a Fidel Servitor. Okay. Don't delete that photo. I knew that, actually, which is why I didn't take a picture and lie to you. You! Okay, be direct. <laughs> I would like a bottle of the 1821 Special Reserve Donatello Negro Amaro, please. Then let me check our stock. She seems to be looking through the database on the laptop sitting on our computer. She puts on a polite smile. I'm afraid you don't have that one at the moment. Sorry. Restrite? Restrite? Ah! Okay. Casually or recite? Straight and simple. I'm a fidelis servitor de la familia G. 
Ah, in that case, let me see if we have any in the back. Wait Don't here, please. Yep, this kind of guy feels like he doesn't, in, like, improv at all. Mm-hmm. The woman leaves the counter and goes through the doors in the back. The man by the table puts down his newspaper and takes in the sip from the cup, washing it down with a gulp of water from the nearby glass. He tries to hide it, but there's no doubt he's watching it. This is a test, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A test to see if he can actually trust me with something as simple as this. Because if he can't, there's no fucking way he'll trust me with something actually important. Uh, the question is... Remain silent and wait. Don't fuck with anything. Remind yourself what Kaiser wrote in the letter, and keep quiet. Patiently waiting for the woman to return to the back of the store. The man finishes his drink and starts doodling on the newspaper, his eyes darting to you every so often. <sighs> Excuse me. The door is on the back open, back of the store open, and the proprietor emerges with a small, unlabeled, squat bottle of crimson- Oh, it's blood. She gives you an apologetic smile. Scusi, sorry for taking so long. Turns out we did have it. She offers you the bottle, and you reach out to grab it, but she retracts it. You do know what this is, don't you? <laughs> just to you. make sure! So he said just to accept it, and then say grazie, then leave. Uh, where was it? Oh, it only goes so far, look at that. Oh, it, it, okay, so it's the day. Okay. Yeah, just for the day. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. get the bottle, just well, take it. saying grazie, leave. don't ask how much it is or anything else. Well, that, uh, but... Guy is watching you. I don't know if he's one of Kaiser's lackeys, just he, he to observe. He said just take it and leave with say grazie, so... Shit! Yeah. Which one should we do? Which one do you think would impress Kaiser more? He didn't really seem <laughs> impressed when we took it with our powers. Then again, we were trying the powers on him, and he said he'd rip our tongue out if he saw us do it again. Yeah, to him. <laughs> he it said, "Don't say anything. Just take it." Yeah, fuck! If you focus blood and immediately see both people in the shop focus intently on you and what you're about to say. I know exactly what this is, and I'm the right person to give it to. Woman gives you the bottle without hesitation. Grazie. Deciding you pushed your luck far enough, you nod and exit the store. Then take a brisk walk to your car. You car. Nobody follows you as you leave and drive back to your apartment. <laughs> it takes you some time to find a parking spot, but you finally get out of the car and start looking for Jackie. He's not far from where you parted ways just under two hours ago. <clears throat> And got the goods. Sure do. Cool, stand by, I gotta make a call. He takes a few more steps into a narrow space between two buildings and takes out the same high-tech phone you saw him carrying last time. Hey boss. Yeah, they have it. But I point them to. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell them to go there right away. He puts the phone back in his pocket and turns back to you. Words point, half an hour, so you better step on it. See you around. With only a flippant salute, Jackie starts walking down the street. Make your way back to the car and drive. We're gonna be his fucking waiter, aren't we? Like, we're just showing up, he's like, ah, good, I was running low. Fill my glass. Or Probably. something like that. You had to push the sleep, yeah, speed limit to make it on time, but you're here. Well, it's point is quite a change of scenery. The place is a post-industrial dump. Nearby stadium, notwithstanding. Yeah, this looks like a place to spot a Nosferatu. You stop mm -hmm. your car once you realize that if you go any further down, the potholes will kill your chassis. You step out onto one of the gashes in the asphalt, splashing in the ankle-deep water. Kaiser's limo is nowhere to be seen. In fact, the whole place- Oh, we're gonna get jumped, aren't we? Middle-aged woman who's... Prior lonely... whole place is okay. pretty much deserted. The apparent proprietor of the lonely bar, a middle-aged woman who's just locking the place up. Yep. We did feed already. Well, but it's a new day. Actually, yeah. Although we could probably. It depends. What do you think? This might be someone we're supposed to talk to with Kaiser. I don't know. I don't know. Like, remember how it says like if we're 
the, the longer we go without blood, the more it'll fill around the edges of the screen, so we could go mm -hmm. without this. You definitely could. But I think we'd be okay if we just snuck a little nibble here. Oh, well, we'll figure if this out in the next one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.